Alright guys, today we're here on Valdebois and we have a piebald roe deer up there. I believe it's a buck, I'm not sure. I spooked him, I don't actually remember. I think I was just crossing the water and then I saw the white running up the hill. And uh, I knew it wasn't anything normal so I got to look at it and noticed he was a piebald. So he was spooked, we're trying to call him in now. There's a red deer uh, cow right down there across the water as well. So we're going to keep moving this way and continue to call until he comes out of spook mode. And did he just turn around? No, he's still going that way right now. So we just got to wait and kind of keep kind of stay with him I guess until until he comes back to a call alright so there he comes little guy but not too bad 45 to 145 I like the piebald uh, for the rear deer the one the female that I shot didn't have any white on its face at least I don't think it did because when I shot it, I didn't know it was piebald. All it did was stick its head up over the little hill, and I shot it with the crossbow. So, this one looks cooler with the white on its face. I'm not sure where he's going to be headed. Okay, he's just turning. Hopefully, we got like a 15 meter shot or something to where... Oh, hello. Oh, that's just perfect. Red deer can be pretty tough. You can double lung them and they'll run, which I think is what happened, unless it was shoulder blade and lung. Hi. Well, we're just going to run after him until he dies. Because he won't go far with lung blood. Okay, he didn't run very far at all, actually. So here he is. 107 score. Cool. 